Yeah. Welcome to our service of Compline, BCP Compline tonight <clears throat> for Tuesday the 28th of May. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxley Group of Parishes. Now tonight we are celebrating Melangel, uh, who was an abbess in Wales, and also Longfranc, who was prior of Lebec and Archbishop of Canterbury and a scholar. So Melangel is a Welsh celebration and Longfranc is a, an English commemoration. So a little bit of information about Melangel. <clears throat> Melangel or Monacella is said to uh, is said to have been the daughter of an Irish king. In order to avoid an arranged marriage, she fled to Wales, hiding in the remote valley of Pennant, now Pennant Melangel, in Montgomeryshire. There she lived a life of quiet prayer, which was interrupted one day by Brochwell, is Githorg, Prince of Powys. He was hunting a hare which took refuge under the folds of Melangel's cloak. Melangel made such an impression on Brockwell that, once he had heard her story, he gave her the Valley of Pennant to be a sanctuary forever. She gathered around her a community of holy women there. Hares became known as Wynne Melang Melangel, known Melangel's lambs, in the Pennant Mel Melangel, and were specifically protected there. Melangel Shrine has recently been restored and her beautiful and peaceful valley is once again a place of pilgrimage. And, and then Lanfranc. Lanfranc was born in Pavia, Italy around the year 1005. At the age of 35, he became a monk of Lebec in Normandy, where he founded the school which rose rapidly to renown throughout Europe. In 1062, William of Normandy appointed him abbot of Caen, then in 1070, Archbishop of Canterbury. Lanfranc was a great ecclesiastical statesman overseeing administrative, judicial and ecclesial reforms with the same energy and rigour that the conqueror displayed in his new kingdom. Lanfranc did not forget his monastic formation. He wrote Constitutions for Christchurch Canterbury based on the customs of Lebec and appointed many Norman abbots to implement his vision in the English abbeys. He died in 1089. So that's a bit of information about Melangal and Lanfranc. So let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. So. Top left is Melangel holding a hair, and bottom right is a uh, Lanfranc stained glass window thereof. So let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. And we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring our thoughts and concerns to God, knowing how much we are in need of his grace and forgiveness. We say together, we confess to God Almighty, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault, wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we listen now, once it's loaded, to the Gazzardo 6 with Te Lucis and Te Terminum. And our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up thou the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, 
For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. And we have a little listen to um, a harp track called Melangel. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God, o thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wing. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And we listen again to the Gazaldo 6 and the version of the Nunctimitus.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. <clears throat> Let us pray to God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. As the mystery of the Holy Trinity has been revealed to the Church, may she continue steadfast in that faith. Grant that our differences of order and diversity of worship may find reconciliation in the unity of love and service. Now let the glory revealed in Jesus Christ fill the whole world with the message of salvation. May the voice that proclaimed him at the River Jordan be a voice to bring all nations to his service. We continue our prayers for all places of war and conflict. In all our relationships, in all our community, Grant us the mutual love that has no limits and seeks no advantage. Be at the heart of our family lives, 
making them images of the love that is in the Holy Trinity. We pray for those who suffer from oppression and the inequalities of society. Grant them relief and give them perfect freedom in body and mind. Have mercy on all who are in error, all who are led astray by false beliefs, and bring them to true faith. And we lift to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time, whatever their struggle. We give thanks for the departing, who now live in continual praise of God, the three in one, including Sylvia Smith, Margaret Walker, Tony Crump, Sandra Priddy, Anne Hatton, and Monica Payton. In the presence where all mysteries are made known, may they rejoice in his glory. We offer our prayers in the name of Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Collect. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore be defended from all adversities through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bless us and preserve us. Amen. That concludes our service of Compliment for this Tuesday evening. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet, and safe night. And look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, God bless. Take care.